Well, it's a lovely Saturday night and I'm just sitting here having my coffee. I'll be with you in a minute. I'm just, well, I'm trying to find the messages. All the live chat stuff. Right, better get some light switched on. We did, we were, we should be, and we probably may, st may still be, having a look at this. Um, typical Panasonic DVD recorder with problems. This one's come in for the U99 which normally I just fit new drives on and it's fine. Um, this can be a firmware issue. A U99, if you've got a U99 on your Panasonic machine, U99 is really one that's um, for the 749. So if you look at the model number here, that's a 749. Um, this is a 747, and that is a 748. Um, I've repaired that one earlier today, so that's sorted. We're probably going to have to have a look at this, because I have all the bits I've ordered for this were supposed to turn up today. Uh, they were supposed to be arriving at 12.30 this afternoon, and they didn't, and I can't find out why. Now, when it comes to... Uh, a 1299, sorry, a U99. It's, um, it's a problem, there's a communication error between the DVD RAM assembly and its um, main board, which is basically fitted underneath it. Some people just replace the DVD, DVD RAM assembly, which doesn't always work because you've got to have the board which it is paired to. And usually it's a communication error either between the RAM assembly and the board or it's a problem between the RAM assembly and the main board. And it could still well be that. There is a chance that, <laughs> there's a slight chance that we could um, get this repaired by hook or by crook. But what I'll do, I'll bring the other camera in so we can um, we can see both of them because we like to watch both as we're doing this. So for now, I'm going to move this one out of the way. I'll stick that there. That's the working one. This is the one that maybe we'll get a chance to see. Um, for some reason, I've not had the option to see messages 
you possibly have. And there's there's a reason for that. Last time we were all communicating with each other, which was great. I love that. But I'm using some different software this time. I've come over to the dark side. I'm using OBS, which I was never a fan of until yesterday. Basically, you're never a fan of these things because you don't know how they blooming work. So yesterday I spent a couple of hours toddling around with OBS, which everybody else uses, but no, not me. I have to use Pinnacle and be different and weird. Uh, but now I've gone over to OBS. Um, but for some particular reason, today it's not giving me the option to see messages or live chat. I don't know if you've got the option for live chat, but I ain't seeing it and I don't know why. I don't know why. No, I'm not seeing any live chat at all. Not that it matters. Well, it does actually. No, that's that was a. Whether it's because we're on Twitch as well, which I know there are more people on Twitch. Maybe you can't have messages if there are if you're using Twitch and YouTube. I don't know. I don't know. But feel free to send a message. I may get it eventually. Well, I hope to get it, maybe. Maybe I can get it on the phone. I don't know. Let's have a look at this machine anyway. So there's a chance we're probably up. If you've come here wanting to learn how to fix a U99 on this, there's a chance we're may not going to be doing this one tonight, seeing as the, um, the bits that I needed. Have not arrived. But we'll have a look because sometimes, hey, these Panasonics, after a few years, do suffer with the bad caps. So it'll be interesting to have a look and see if it is suffering with the bad caps. If it is suffering with the bad caps, we can just put some new ones in. But that's all looking pretty good there. We can check underneath it though. We can take we can take the um this is the DVD RAM assembly. Underneath it is its um little motherboard, its digital board, which it relies on information. So we'll check underneath and just see if it's got a cap issue. First thing I need to do is take off the front, which is quite easy when that's off. So the front is off now and it's naked. But that gives me a chance to get in underneath and have a look. at all the other bits that I'm going to need. Just looking for my favourite screwdriver and I can't find it.
So that's the ram assembly out, pretty easy, it's just the um, four leads going into the four plugs. And this bit underneath is the digital board. And this, as I mentioned earlier, is technically paired to the DVD RAM assembly. But no, there's nothing in the region of obvious bad capacitors on this. Not that I can see. But in the past, what I all I do is um, replace the boards and the RAM assembly and then the unit is good. It's not a cheap fix, I've got to be honest with you. So it doesn't look like we're going to be getting this fix tonight but the other one's in for repair which apparently is dead. If you want to see what happens when you take the drive out, because of course we were getting a U99 before, what do you think we're going to get now? Now there's no RAM assembly drive in at all. Oh, I saw something. I just saw please. <laughs> That's all we get. Yeah, pleased to you too as well. It needs... Oh, we're getting a clock flashing now, which you may see. Can you see? No, it's a bit dark. There you go. Turn it on. Hello. But then off. Well, we're not getting the U99 anymore, so obviously we have taken out the equation with it being the drive. It could just be the firmware on those, and sometimes a firmware disk is um, happy enough to get it started again, but I, I think that this has other issues. I really do. So, put this down to one side. I really need to find out where the um, the chat screen has gone on this because the chat screen has gone, 
and it's nice to chat. Even if there's only a couple of people around, I like to chat on a Saturday night. So, we're going to do this one next. Uh, so, what I'm going to do, and I do apologise if this messes you around, I'm just going to stop the, str the, the stream, and I will set it up again in two minutes' time, and hopefully then it will give me the option to... Um, to have the live chat. It just hasn't come up this time, so it possibly needs a reset, which it did last time. So bear with.